<sighs> it is hot, hot, hot. There ain't a breath of wind right now, and it's humid, and I'm just, I'm just wringing wet, sweaty. So, uh, all right, what we got today? Uh, you, yesterday or Monday's video was about the hour showers, installing it, and putting some stuff together on it. I have 99.999% <laughs> completed it. All right, what we got here is the shower. Now, this is plywood. This is three inch, inch plywood, and there's three inch, inch plywood here. Well, I covered it with, I had, uh, before I started this project, this RV or this trailer had this plastic in the roof, okay? It's fiberglass reinforced plastic sheets. It's like, it's like the walls in the bathroom, at, like your McDonald's and Walmarts and stuff like that. So they put it on there because you can't write on it. It's real, you know, I think you can write with a pen on there. So anyway, uh, I wouldn't have bought these, but I already had them. So I went ahead and put them in. So I put these sheets in. I had to cut them out and make it all, you know, fit and trim, put it in there. And I got all these screws in here. Oh, Stan, that's going to, you know, you should have glued that because the screws, well, the holes were already in it because when I put it in the ceiling. So I had to put some screws in these holes to cover these holes up. And I'm going to pull them out later on and put, um, caulking just a little dab of caulking underneath it and squish it back in there make some watertight now i don't really have to have this watertight because i'm going to have shower curtains on the inside of this this is just extra protection just in case okay in case the shower curtain opens up and you get water splashing on the plywood all right so i've got fiberglass uh, plastic here on this door and on the inside of this retaining wall this little half retaining wall here um don't really need that retaining wall but i wanted something to kind of enclose it i guess and then i can always put I can hang things out here like garden hoses and I can hang things on the back of this. So I thought I'd put that in there. So, all right, what we got here, let me pull the door out of the way. I haven't mounted this. I got to pull this up and put screws in here and mount this door. This door will swing open almost like a, like the hatch on a SUV or something. Okay. So this door will be right there. Now I've got two holes cut in it. I got two holes cut right here and here, and those are for the switches. All right. Let me, let me start from the bottom here. I'll start from scratch. All right. I got, tape on this i pull this tape off i just get you got that in there so the dust and dirt doesn't go down in there i'll pull that tape off and I, i'll put a, a filter medium of some type probably those uh uh, uh scotch bright pads or the the filter for like a, an aquarium or something i put that in there and then put the little stainless or the, the chrome uh, screen on top of that water i'll pour water in there fill a gallon let's say a gallon of water I'll put a gallon of water in here and it'll fill this tub up a little bit when i uh when I turn the pump on, it'll uh, pull water through the hose up to this hose up to the, the pump. Okay, it'll be filtered through this medium here. And then also there's a screen right there that will filter anything out before it gets to the pump. So it won't damage the pump. From there, that came with the pump. From there, 12 volt pump by the way. From there, it goes up to this filter. And it's one of those inline, I think it's a 10 micron filter. Um, uh, just the ones you buy at Walmart for, um, for your... Um, where you fill water into your RV, it's one of those filters. It's just an inline garden hose filter. So it goes up in through here, filters, and then goes up into the heater. And the heater, remember a couple of videos back, we had the, uh, I showed you how I built the heater. Okay, um, it's got that cartridge metal heater that goes in there. Well, the wiring goes over to this and out to the electrical. Okay, water will go across that, get heated up, and then from there it goes through this hose up to the shower head, okay? Now the shower head will be mounted up here and once the water gets to flowing and there's plenty of water in the system, I, you know, I, I purged all the air out of the lines. Then I go over here and I plug the outlet in, plug this outlet. This outlet goes in through here to this switch and then up to this heater. Okay. So <clears throat> Stan, what about a GFI? The inverter is a GFI, okay? It has a GFI uh, cutoff in it. So I don't have to have a GFI switch out here. So I plug that in, and once the water gets flowing, I'll turn that switch on, which that switch will actually be in this, this opening right here, okay? And have a cover on it and all that. Stan, water will get in those switches. They're not waterproof. Water isn't going to get to them because I have a shower curtain in between them, okay? All right, so here's, I got water in there. I turn the pump on. This should be this switch right here. Okay, which will be this switch. Turn that on. There's the water pump. It starts pumping water up through everything and it starts coming out the shower head. Once it comes out the shower head, I'll plug this in, turn that switch on, and it'll start heating it. I go get my shower kit, get ready to take a shower. 
I come over here and the water should be hot. I have a gallon of water recirculating through the system over and over and over. Every time it comes out, it goes through, it goes through, it goes go filter. Comes out, take a shower. Okay, the water is nice and warm. If the water gets too hot, because there's no thermostat on it, if the water gets too hot, as I'm taking a shower, I just push through the shower curtain, I just, with my fingers, hit the switch and turn it off. And when it starts getting cool, turn it back on. It gets hot, turn it back off. But water is continuously flowing, okay? And I can regulate the temperature. Hopefully that will work. I don't know. I'm going to have to experiment on that. So take your shower. When you get done with the shower, you turn the heater off and let the water flow just a little bit longer to cool the element down. Once the element's cooled down to where it won't melt plastic and everything, you turn the water off. You get out and you dry off and put your clothes back on. You come back, now you got a bunch of dirty water, well, somewhat dirty water, used water that's been filtered several times, in the bottom of the pan. Well, I'm not going to reuse that water. What I'll do is take the shower, the shower head and put it in a bucket. And the water won't, it'll, it'll eventually siphon it clean, uh, uh, siphon all the water out. Once the water's all out, I hang this back up, take the bucket, go over it, and throw it away. People were like, oh, here's a lot of the comments I was getting. Let me go back outside and get a little better light and possible little bit of a breeze. Um, a lot of comments were the GFI. Oh, you electrocute yourself. Okay, I've got that. The, the, the inverter is a GFI switch. The other comment was that, oh, that water is going to be nasty. You know, take, you're doing it over and over and over. Well, no. It, think of it as a, a in motion bath. When you take a bath, you're taking a bath in your dirty water, right? When you get out, the water you just cleaned in was has all the dirt in it. I know there's 30 gallons in a bathtub versus one gallon, okay? But this has been filtered, okay? The big concern I have isn't so much the filtering and all that, is the soap. Once you lather up with soap and you go to rinse, will that filter filter out the soap? It'll probably be, you'll feel soapy. Is there, is, I'm, I'm, that's my concern. I'll have to experiment with different kinds of soap. I'll have to, or shampoo or whatever, uh, whatever. And then also, um, the guy that invented this, gone, uh, gone boondocking, he mentioned that if you put a little bit of uh, Epsom salt in there, Epsom salt will um, give the soap something to hook onto and be filtered then. Otherwise, the soap just goes right through that filter. I don't know. Experimental, people. Experimental. Remember, this is an experiment. So, put, take that water, put it in a bucket, and throw it away. People are like, oh, nasty, dirty water. You're going to do it over? No. Take one shower, one gallon of water. Then throw the water away. Okay. Get, next time I take a shower, put another gallon, new, clean, fresh water in it. Okay. And take another shower. All right. Well, the, that filter will start getting bacteria built up in it. Okay. Well, every, every shower, every 10th shower, every 50th shower. I don't know. Whenever you feel it's starting to get nasty, throw a little half cup of bleach in it and let the bleach soak through it and kill the bacteria. All right and throw that water away so these are different ideas i'm things and people have brought this stuff up i didn't even think about the gfi so whoever brought that up thank you but the whole idea is to minimize water usage okay um you, when you're out boondocking you only have so much water well if you're going to use up all your water taking a shower then you can only camp for maybe a week this maybe i can camp for three weeks or I can camp here for a week and then go over there and camp for a week and then go over there and camp for a week and not have to worry about running all the way over to town to find some water. So fill up one time and make it last. That's the idea. So uh, what else? Uh, the, I got to give credit to the guy that invented this, uh, Gone Boondocking. I uh, don't know the guy's name. I've watched a few of his videos, but I don't know much about him. Gone Boondocking, he's a regular RVer, but he boondocks a lot and he wants to conserve water. So he kind of invented this thing. And then there's another fella, I'll put it in the descriptions down here. Um, uh, he, he came up with the idea of putting that heater in there. So, you know, taking other people's ideas and coming up with a, in, uh, uh, a shower. So, um, take the best of all the, your idea is good, that idea is good. Well, this other thing ain't too good. So use his and his, all the good things, put it together and make a good shower, a good product. So, anyway, that's what it is. Uh, I will... Get it finished out. I'll put the uh, curtain in it and get some water in it, get it to pumping, and actually test it out tomorrow uh, for Friday's video. And Friday's video will be a review on this and see if it actually works. So, like I said, my big concern is, is it just going to feel soapy? Like, you know, when you have real soft water, you never feel like you get the soap off. That's what I'm worried about, but or concerned about or whatever. But maybe that Epsom salt will work fine. 
I don't know. I'm trying to think what else. Um, I think that's it. So we'll see you uh, Friday. This is for Wednesday's video. Uh, I'll be out here tomorrow uh, do, testing this thing out a little bit better. I'll get all hot and sweaty like I am now, and I'll probably jump in there and take a shower and see how it works. So uh, with that, Friday will be a review of the hour shower. So with that, y'all, ciao.